I think most of the folks in attending computers and libraries and internet librarian would already have a pretty good idea of what open source software is. Uh, say a few things about it quickly uh, for those who uh, might need a little bit of clarification. Uh, well, you know, open source and proprietary software are just different licensing models for how software is developed. Proprietary software is kind of more owned software. A company owns it, they develop it, and they're able to monetize it and provide access to it as they see fit. Open source is another licensing model that has specific requirements that the, the software is uh, available for anyone to use, share, and change, <clears throat> again, depending on the details of that license, without cost. Um, that you have to provide access to the source code. Uh, so the, the way that you, you know, get access and use it is, is quite different. Uh, and it has different kind of business implications as well. Uh, so, you know, is it list expensive, is it more expensive? You know, it, it kind of depends on the scenario, but generally I think that uh, there's a lot of uh, consensus that, you know, in a lot of cases, open source can be a less expensive model of automating for some libraries than purchasing proprietary licenses. So, um, I'm fortunate to have been able to see how software has been used in many other areas of the world. And so the experience of how open source software is used in wealthy countries like the US and Europe, Scandinavia, uh, Australia and Asia, you know, is different than other parts of the world, uh, Latin America and India, where it's kind of the default way of, of getting access to software. Uh, so just interesting trends and, and you know, there are reasons behind that, uh, and we'll talk some about that. But here in the U.S., uh, Canada, Europe, the primary model that libraries use open source is through commercial support. The software is free, as I said, you have to follow the uh, licenses under which the software was developed and released. Uh, but that doesn't mean that companies can't base their business on providing services around it. Libraries can charge for hosting software, uh, open source software, for providing service for it. Uh, if it breaks, how do I fix it? Help desk, all those kinds of things. And for uh, developing new features in it. Often those features are uh, returned to the software community so everyone can benefit from it. 